Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. It's a very special day for me and for the Gambia Press Union. For me, for being the first time to stand on such a podium to deliver a speech as a project manager. As a matter of protocol, Mr. Chairman, Deputy Permanent Secretary, Minister of Information and Communication Infrastructure, Mr. Malik Jones, President, the Gambia Press Union, Mr. Emil Toure, all dignitaries here present and all protocols duly observed. I greet you in the name of God. Today marks a very important day in the calendar of the Gambia Press Union. I may be young, so I cannot conclude that such a day with a tripartite activity in which we celebrate or we talk about unionism, we, we celebrate good works of journalists in this country and also remember or commemorate or celebrate world press freedom. If each of you can turn to your partner and ask, why are you here today? Probably the answer you will get would be, I am here to witness the award of um, journalists or to commemorate the belated World Press Freedom Day. But this day has been set aside specifically to talk about the importance of journalism and how a committed membership can help the union achieve its objectives. Ladies and gentlemen, in your mind, you will begin to ask, why should the GPU organize such a thing? It has really come to the notice of the Gambia Press Union of recent that membership have begun to shy away from the union. And that has left the executive helpless in their efforts to achieve their objectives. They also noticed that when elections are coming closer for the Gambia Press Union, members that were registered but have never been committed to paying their dues will rush to the union to regularize their status by paying their debt simply because they want to vote or be voted into office. That is not the way forward, you will agree with me. Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, we have also realized that the Gambia Press Union has over 250, um, 250 members. But it is shocking to note that when the GPU organizes a general body meeting, only a few members will turn up. And even those that will turn up will come from the newspapers. And that leaves us wondering where are our friends from the electronic media, the radios, and the only national TV we have in this country. Even though members hardly turn up to GPU meetings and events, they are sometimes found busy talking about what they know not about. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is why such a day has been planned to remind all of us here present, including myself, to take up the responsibilities to help the GPU become the GPU that we all desire. It has become a cliche, but I cannot leave this podium without using it. And it's united we stand, divided we will fall. We have a whole lot of things to pursue. But it is only when we come together as one, with a lot of commitment, that we can achieve the objectives set aside by the pioneers of the Gambia Press Union. However, that said, it is also important to note that the Gambia Press Union executive have an obligation to go out to those who are still lagging behind. Because if you represent people and they are not coming on, you have to go to them. 
So I enjoy or encourage the Gambia Press Union executive to go out and meet these people, especially those in the electronic media. You cannot just concentrate on your advocacy for press freedom and human rights. I also enjoy you to advocate for the welfare of journalists. You and I know that journalism in this country is not anything to pride about when it comes to the financial return. And it is only when you engage the, um, the media owners that the welfare of journalists in this country might be better. Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, talking about those pioneers who have helped made us um, stand here today, let me give you a brief background about some of, some of them, how it started, and why they put up such a body. First, we must go down memory lane to 19, 9, 1944, when a sitting governor of Batos, Governor Hilary Blood, instituted two press laws, the Newspaper Registration Act and the False Publication Law. These laws, which are still in this country, saw people like John Findindeli, Edward Francis Small, James Senegal, Lenry Peter Sr. come together to form a journalist association. The reason why they did that is because they want to fight against the laws. But their attempt to form such an association hit a stumbling block. In 1956, again, Another attempt was made when journalists, to form a journalist association, immediately after M.E. Jalo formed the Gambia Workers' Union. But again, the move stalled. In 1965, another attempt was made, this time pioneered by Melvin Benoni Jones, a.k.a. M.B. Jones. But the idea did not go down well with the then administrators. It was not until 1974 when Dixon Coley took the baton alongside Ngany Thomas and Baba Musa Tarawale, who I can say is sitting here tonight. But they were able, it was at the time that they were able to form what they call the Gambia Journalist Association. Their aim was to fight against the press law that were put in place because they know if they didn't fight against these laws, the laws might haunt them later. Dixon remained the president until 1985 when they felt the need to incorporate the electronic media, to expand and incorporate the electronic media. Dixon was then supported by people like Babu Kargay and Baba Musa Trawale as well as Pap Sen. Here we are 31 years on, calling on members to be more committed and those that are yet to be registered to come on board, especially my brothers and sisters in the electronic media. I urge you all, as you are leaving this hall, to begin to ask yourself the following questions. Am I a member of the Gambia Press Union? Have I been a committed member? Do I have a voice when, my, when I do not put money in the union? How much will my membership help the GPU achieve its objective? Do I, from this point, walk to the Gambia Press Union and pick a form to regularize my status? With these questions, Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, let me leave you with this quote from the US President Barack Obama, who said, the future rewards those who press on. I don't have time to feel sorry for myself. I don't have time to complain. All I have time for is to press on. Ladies and gentlemen, come on and stop complaining from the fringes of the Gambia Press Union and press the union to achieve its objective. In conclusion, I want to salute our long, 
standing partners in the Gambia Media Support Games based in Denmark. With special mention to Jorgens, Lars Moller, Peter Christensen, and our new project manager, Morgan Thompson. These people have been so phenomenal. They have helped the GPU with a lot of projects, among each which helped to put the GPU School of Journalism in place. And they are still doing this. I also want to thank the GPU staff from Madam Tambedu to Hadija Jawara, Musa Baro, Chilel Koli, Famara, and Astunjai. I thank you all for your kind attention.